COVID-19 update, good numbers improve, bad numbers remain stable. Mead Public Library makes adjustments, Packer Tab Rogers' successor. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Friday, April 24th, 2020. The total number of confirmed positive cases of COVID-19 in Sheboygan County was stable at 45 for the third straight day. That according to the daily report from the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health, another person has recovered, leaving 11 active cases and two hospitalized. 32 persons have recovered from the coronavirus, while deaths remain at two. Another 18 persons were tested since Wednesday, and all were negative. State totals increased by 107 for a total of 5,052 cases of the coronavirus. 257 Wisconsinites have succumbed to the disease. And on April 9th, Governor Tony Evers ordered the... Con construction of an alternative care facility at Wisconsin State Fair Park. Attention had recently been drawn to the fact that the facility now complete was unoccupied except for staff waiting for patients. Today, Governor Evers, along with the Department of Health Services Secretary Designate Andrea Palm, issued Executive Order Number 32, affirming the need for that facility for low acuity COVID-19 patients should the capacity of area hospitals be exceeded. That ability is an essential requirement that needs to be met in order for the Badger Bounce Back Plan and the plan to gradually lift restrictions due to the pandemic. This is also in compliance with the federal gu guidelines and the executive order establishes general operations rules and patient transfer and clinical care criteria for admission to the facility. In normal times, 50% of small businesses leave the marketplace before reaching their five-year milestone. After a disaster, 90% of small businesses will fail within a year unless they can reopen within five days, and almost 40% never reopen. But the current shutdown for COVID-19 is an untested ground. No one has statistics on an event of this scale, but help is available nonetheless. The Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation has partnered with Small Business Development Center at UW-Green Bay to provide guidance on programs designed to weather the COVID-19 economic storm. The partnership has already assisted over 250 individual small businesses and not-for-profits in Sheboygan. As CEDC Chair Gary Dooms called small businesses the heart and soul of our communities. And he said that they the, and the Small Business Development Center will provide ongoing assistance as long as it is needed. Businesses needing more information should email sbdc at uwgb.edu or call 920-366-9065. Sheboygan's Mead Public Library has made some adjustments to their operations during the COVID-19 health emergency. Mead remains closed to the public through May 24th, but for your reference and research, you can leave a voicemail for a librarian to call you back between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Mondays through Fridays at 459-3400. You can also access virtual online programs and the art outdoor book returns are closed and the library has suspended due dates and fines until they reopen. Then a five day grace period kicks in before fines accrue. The board of trustees is still examining whether or not curbside checkout of books and other materials is possible and they hope to reach a determination today. For those needing Wi-Fi from the library, it has extended its network access near the entrance and the parking lot near the outdoor book drops between 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. daily. 
information on all of these available at meadpl.org. Those needing help locating phone or internet service during the COVID-19 public health emergency are getting some assistance from the Public Service Commission of Wisconsin. A PSC consumer affairs staff person can be contacted to help find services, plans, and discounts. Those include internet service and discounts, determining eligibility for a discount on voice or bundle voice and data service through the PCS's Lifeline program. And to locate emergency Wi-Fi, that has been made available to those who do not have it at home. Over 650 emergency Wi-Fi locations have been activated in Wisconsin, and such as that available in the Mead Public Library parking lot. Rebecca Cameron Volk, chairperson of the PSC, said this is a one-stop shop for consumers who need to access essential services. The internet and phone helpline number is 1-608-267-3595. Or you can visit the PSC's website at psc.wi.gov. Most people know that you cannot trust everything you read on the internet, but the Better Business Bureau is warning that one of the class of online advertising is a scam as much as 80% of the time. The number belongs to pet scams, online puppy sales in particular, and their frequency has been exploding and thousands of people have fallen victim. It usually involves pets sold for either a low price or even free. Western Union or MoneyGram is the vehicle of choice for payment, and the victim is expected delivery from a remote location. Once shipping is paid, additional charges such as a crate are added and supposed air, airport delays will add more fees and the scam progresses until the victim realizes that they have been taken for a ride and that the supposed pet does not exist. The BBB said that a few simple steps can help avoid this. Always inspect a pet in person before exchanging any money and if an online purchase is made, only pay with a credit card. And if you think you have been scammed, you can file a complaint at PetScams.com or contact the Federal Trade Commission at 1-877-FTC-HELP. And finally, 15 years to the day, the Green Bay Packers drafted the successor to Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre by selecting Aaron Rodgers, General Manager Brian Gutz-Kuntz, picked to air apparent for Rodgers by drafting Utah State quarterback Jordan Love in the first round of NFL's first ever virtual draft. Gutekunst traded up four spots with the Miami Dolphins to move into a, the 26th position in the draft's first round, giving Miami Green Bay's original pick at number 30 along with a fourth round choice to take Love, a two-year starter in college. This 6 to 4, 224 pound love threw 8,600 yards and 60 touchdowns in his college career, along with 29 interceptions. Regarded as an extremely athletic player with big play ability, the selection came as a jolt considering Rodgers, 36, still has four years remaining on a $176 million contract extension signed two years ago. Favre was taken 35 when Rodgers was taken to the then general manager Ted Thompson in 2005 and waited three seasons before getting the starting job after Favre first retired, came back and then was dealt to the New York Jets. Most observers thought the Packers would look elsewhere to bolster its roster after coming one game away from the Super Bowl last season, but in a pre-draft visit with the media last week, Gutekunz was asked about the possibility of taking a quarterback with a Super Bowl champion and two-time league MVP already entrenched. He said, if you think a guy has an opportunity to play in this league and play at a high level, you have, no, have to consider it really no matter where your team is at because it is just too hard to win without one. Speaking with ABC after the selection, 
Love said, I didn't know what to expect coming into this. I'm super excited, and I had some good talks with the coaching staff in Green Bay, so I'm excited. As for learning from Rodgers, Love said, oh man, I already know I can learn a lot from Aaron Rodgers. He is one of the goats in the game, and I am excited to come back behind him and just learn as much as I can. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.